The first two days of Pesach are over and I can use my phone again for the next few days. Although it's going to be Shabbos really soon. So then I'll be off my phone again for 25 hours. Then basically there's Sunday and then the last few days of Pesach where I don't use my phone again. So I'm super tired. I hung out with family. I read a little bit in the Crescent series. I'm on the third book now, but mostly just hung out with my family. And you might be wondering where I am. I'm inside of my parents' pantry. They turned over the entire pantry and they cleaned every single shelf, took out any of the chametz, anything that we cannot eat on Pesach, and replaced it with a whole of food that we can eat on Pesach, can eat on Pesach. So I thought I'd give you a little tour. And by the way, this is where I totally got my closet eating from because we have a pantry that has a door that closes. So when I was growing up, if I felt like guilty eating certain foods, I would come in here and eat it. So literally closet eating. I've been working very hard on that recently and I'm really proud to not be closet eating so much anymore. Although it's so easy to like fall back into old ways, but I'm working on it always. Starting with our spices and we've got lots of chips. Oh my gosh, so much cotton candy. Then we have broth and more spices and salt and some like baking things. And oh my gosh, over here are these croutons. They are delicious. They're gluten-free croutons and they're good year round, but they're perfect for Pesach. And I told my sister-in-law is gluten-free. I'm like, you better buy like 50 boxes of these. We have matzo meal, cake meal, potato starch, <gasps> delicious coffee, chocolate syrup. Is I guess this is a pearl couscous for Pesach. So Israeli couscous. More oh, marshmallows and some cake mix. This pantry is usually so full, <laughs> but it's mostly empty. We've got some crackers and oil and vinegar, really gross mayo. The mayo for Pesach is just disgusting. These croutons up here are really yummy. Uh, dressings, I can't, that can't be good. I don't even know. Olives, are those olives? I don't eat those, but that's okay. Just a lot of really good things for baking the mustard. What is the mustard made from? Because mustard is usually not something that Ashkenazim eat on Pesach. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, it's not actually mustard. So it's it's really, it's it's made to look like mustard, which is really gross. Ketchup, lemon juice, oh, chocolate sprinkles. A lot of tomato sauce, but this is something that's great year round. So even if we don't go through all of that, more cake mixes down here. Oh, a lot of coffee, caramel nut clusters, and a little more baking stuff, but that's really it. Where are most of the snacks? They're out here, actually. I showed you guys a video with the tea room already, but this has been so convenient through the first days of the holiday. Everybody just come over here and we pick a little bit.